If your teacher has created a Pear Deck assignment in Canvas, when you open up this assignment, you will either see the Pear Deck session embedded in your Canvas page, or you will see this button to load Pear Deck integration in a new window. I'm going to show you what this looks like when we load it in a new window. This will open up the Pear Deck session in a new window. Either way, you are going to complete this Pear Deck session through Canvas. The first thing you're going to do is to choose how you're feeling today or you can skip that. If you're brand new to Pear Deck, you will have to authorize your Google account the very first time. So you want to click on your school email address and allow permissions. Once I've reached this window, I'm going to choose how I'm feeling today and then my Pear Deck slides will begin. As a student, you'll use these little arrows at the bottom to move between the slides. So you can go backwards or forwards if your teacher has created a student paced session. On the bottom right corner, you can click the headset and then click play for any audio that your teacher has recorded on the slide. You also get a notification that there's audio included in the upper right corner. You can use the button in the upper right corner to make the slide full screen and then click anywhere to return to your Pear Deck session. As you use the buttons in the bottom left corner to click through the slides, you will see interactive slides. This is an example of a multiple choice question, so you will choose the answer that best matches the question. As soon as you interact with the slide, you'll get a check mark at the bottom of your screen. Some slides are interactive and some are not. This is an example of, an, of a slide that is not interactive. Here's an example of a draggable slide. I have an icon on my screen and I'm going to drag it to where I would like. Once I drag that icon, I get a check mark at the bottom of my screen. This is an example of a draw slide. I'm going to use this toolbar and these tools to draw directly on my slide. If I don't like what I drew, I can use the tools at the bottom to erase. I can also add text and I can also change the color. There is no submit button. As soon as I'm done drawing, I can move on to the next slide. This is an example of an embedded video. My teacher has embedded a YouTube video for me to watch. I can click play and I can also read the directions on the left. This is an example of a text response slide. So I can add my response in the text box here. There is no submit button. As soon as I'm done writing my response, I can move to the next slide. One tool that you have available to you is the immersive reader. This is this button in the bottom left corner that's a book with a microphone icon. I'm going to click on the immersive reader and what it's going to do is pull the text from the slide and allow me to have it read out loud. I can click play to hear the text read out loud. I can click on the voice settings to speed up the voice speed or slow it down. I can also choose a female or male voice. On the right hand side, I have many more options for the immersive reader. If I click on text preferences, I can increase the size of the text. I can increase or decrease the spacing of the text. I can change the text font. I can change the theme of the text. Next to my text preferences, I have grammar options. This allows me to color code the parts of speech on the text. I can also increase the words so that it shows me the word syllables instead of the full word together. On the far right, I have reading preferences. This lets me focus on one line of text at a time, three lines of text at a time, or five lines of text at a time. 
If the picture dictionary is turned on, I can click on a word and it will show me a picture dictionary definition. I can also translate this text to many different languages. If I scroll down and find my preferred language, I can click on that language and I can translate by word. So I can see the Spanish translation. I can also listen to the Spanish translation or I can translate the entire document. This will take all the text and translate it into my preferred language. I can also switch between my preferred language and the original language of the text. I have pulled the text from one slide. If I wanna go back to the slideshow, I'm going to click this exit button. This will take me back to the slideshow. I have the immersive reader available on every slide in a Pear Deck session. When I reach the end of my slides, I'm going to click Submit Work. This will let my teacher know on their Canvas course that you have completed this Pear Deck assignment and you are ready for them to review your work. There is no Finish button or Exit button. You can just close the tab to complete this assignment. If you close the tab and you're not quite finished, you can just open the assignment again and Pear Deck will start where you left off.